The Raptors look to take charge at the Air Canada Center here in downtown Toronto. And our State Farm starting lineups. Here's a look. Hey guys, taking a look here at Kyle Lau. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I was able to speak with Dwayne Casey for a moment. Going into this game and scouting the opposition, he told me he's a huge man. A part of growing as a team is getting better and better on the defensive end, and that's exactly what Philadelphia did a year ago. They were up near the top of the charts in terms of defensive statistics for most of the last season. Good ball movement here by the 76. Shots good by Turner. That's courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the 76ers. Miller in a shooting guard. Bynum is out there with Young. Back to Lowry. Down low. Here's DeRozan. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. That's a more consistent way to score. Take it inside. And it's DeRozan missing. Well, unfortunately, he just has not been able to produce offensively to this point. Well, you look at lights out, and if you guys noticed a nice billboard of him going up as he signs with Jordan. Yeah, it looks like they want to make him one of their featured athletes, and we should keep seeing him promoted like that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. And by the way, sweet-looking shoes. Yeah, very sweet. Yeah, and I'm sure part of the deal is plenty of product. I'd like to get in on that. <laughs> Here's DeRozan. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. DeRozan's got four points now in the quarter. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Miller against DeRozan. Young outside. Feeds to Miller. Gives him the lead pass. Bynum. Shot clock at four. And the layup is up and in. Ring kicks to Johnson. Here's DeRozan. Drops it in from 11 feet. Here's Miller. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Lowry's got three rebounds now in this one. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. And that game featured one of the least consistent offensive performances you're going to see from them. They needed to make a few runs, but it just never was able to happen for them. Miller dishes to Holiday. Miller sets a screen for Holiday. Out to Miller. Back to Holiday. Deflected. Here's Bynum. And he throws it down with one hand. Brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I like you, that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He uh, shifted the, the brain neutral. Yeah. Much of a contribution yeah. at the offensive end. A 15-footer. And the Raptors tend to have a matchup with Boston. Well, they heaved up a lot of ill-advised three-pointers in that loss. Guys, they were way and too... And Wright pulls it down. Clark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I mean, I love watching unselfish play, and I know Steve enjoys that, too. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. I mean, a five-man team game where the ball moves. There's so much unselfish play. Time beautiful. For Jose Calderon. <laughs> Miller outside. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Inside at the four and five, Bargnani and Amir Johnson. DeRozan and Fields are the wing. And it's Calderon in at the point guard. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Spencer Hawes has checked in for Bynum. Moultrie comes in for Thaddeus Young. And Nick Young is subbed in for Evan Turner. The dish to Holiday. Gets it to go. Holiday. Calderon against Holiday. Our DeRozan on the wing. DeRozan gets a screen from Fields. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances. To the ninth pick overall back in the 2009 draft. Certainly some expectations, Clark, with being such a high pick. Yeah, and I don't think he's disappointed. Always athletic. He also for him. came away with a season high for rebounds. A dominating performance from a player who might start making waves around the NBA. That is what the franchise hopes, at least, guys. All right, Doris, thanks. You're all over this stuff. And no doubt, Clark, his team very happy with his contribution as well. Well, Kevin, you got to love the impact. And the pass to DeRozan. Lucas up top. That's good. And the Raptors lead by five. 
And Doug Collins, the head coach of the Sixers, he was actually the number one overall pick in the 1973 draft and had four years as an all-star in his eight seasons in the league before his career was cut short by 56 injury. left in the third quarter of the game. Knocked away and stolen by Miller. Dishes it to Young. Pass to Bynum. Leads him in there. And he lays it straight in. So had, you know, Steve, a very good career as a broadcaster. So good, in fact, he was uh, elected into the uh, Hall of Fame. I think the, the best color commentator that the NBA has ever seen, to be honest with you, Kevin. I know you work, worked with him for many years. Uh, I've worked with him as well. Uh, just I've learned so much from Listen him. Listen to him anymore. Johnson can't hit. Even that close to the hoop, when you when you see that kind of defense, I think you got to move the ball back out to the perimeter. Here's Young. That's good. They got on this roll. And again, Toronto, no luck. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little bit. Make the pass in that spot. Lucas with it. Can they get it? That drops. John Lucas. Lucas has got four this quarter. That's grace over power, guys. That finger roll gets him two points. Impressive stuff. He feeds it to Turner. Then there's Spencer Hawes. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. The Rosen's checked in. Holiday dishes to Miller. Bynum with a screen on Colder. Miller, the pass to Bynum. Back to Miller. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Boy, how about the roller coaster ride for the Sixers last year, guys? They started out so hot, looked like they were going to control the Atlantic Division. He's checked in for Toronto. He kicks it to Calderon. Over Miller. And again, Toronto in February with some of the best teams in the NBA going into Philadelphia, playing on the Sixers' home floor. So I, I think Clark, you know, that probably slowed him down. They had some searching there among themselves as to how they're going to get out of it, but they did. The Sixers are capable of being a dominant team. They want to be a dominant team in the East. They still got work to do, but this is a team on the run for a while. It looked like the 76ers were going to take control of that Atlantic division, but eventually the Sixers had to settle for third. Back to the Sixers at one point. They were leading the pack, but then the Celtics and the Bucks pass. following this one. That game marks the start of a five-game homestand, the longest of the season. Well, no doubt the Milwaukee fans want to see the Bucks take that game. And the Bucks here in the fourth. Hooked away. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ross. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Kicks it to Miller. Dishes it to Turner. Miller sets a screen for Turner. Bynum. That's good. Man. Well, they keep going right back to the paint. And who can blame them? I mean, they're getting it done in there. Terrible defensively in 2011. And even though they didn't quite make the overall strides they wanted to last year, they were able to get closer to where they need to be. Gets it to go. And that's when you don't have defensive-minded players. Uh, you can scheme all you want, but if you don't have the talent, it's not going to work. So I would look for Toronto to continue to try to. They're on a 14 to 6 run. And Thaddeus Young, great in transition and able to drive and finish at the rim. Yeah, I really like his improvement and how he's developed as a player. He's tough for most big men to stay in front of. He's got the nice. Fields has got three assists tonight. Here's Miller. Yes, Chris. and it's Holiday Miller. with the assist that time. Six to shoot. Now here is Lowry. He's tightly guarded. Tell you what, things just aren't bouncing his over Holiday. It's Lowry again missing. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. Here's Johnson. Shows it down to finish the break. He gets position in the lane. He can go up and get it done. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. I got a chance to hear what Doug Collins was saying to the team. His advice clear cut. That's what leadership is about. He's looking to help his team cut into this deficit. Miller kicks the Bynum. Over Bargnani. Bynum, no good. 
Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. It's been a struggle. It's not happening right now. He needs to settle down a bit and let the offense come to him a little more. He's forcing things right now. Miller kicks to Turner. Back to Miller. 76ers moving the ball around. Over Lowry. Miller, no luck. Boy, he had a good one. Miller, right side. The three is launched. No good. So the Rangers will take it the pass to Calderon. Over Miller. And Kevin, he's an offensive board. And Steve, what a shot blocker he is, too. I mean, you're taught that it's counterproductive to swat a ball into the fourth row. But he just can't seem to help himself. Holiday, now recovering. Lowry against Holiday. And that one's good. Pass to DeRozan. Fade away. Miller grabs the miss. Miller's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Richardson. You know what? They can't make that mistake twice. And Holiday, here we go. The feet to Miller. Young outside. And here's Holiday. And the shot clock expires. Free D to stop him. Before. Lowry. It's hauled in by the 76ers. That was a layup, I and mean, you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Convert on the second. That misses. Ah! Right side, Lowry. No good with the elbow jump. So the 76ers win it. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think... 90. The 76ers.